Bang ass kitty. Mm. Is that like a meow of happiness? Do you have visitors? Oh, I forgot my phone. Hey Jess, when you come in, bring my iPad. Probably the island or the bed. Or downstairs or in the kitchen. Might be your last night here. Hopefully you will get a home tomorrow. Did you flop? <laughs> She's like, nope. And I'm like, yep. She's like, nope. <laughs> oh, you're just too adorable. Hmm. It's going to be a cold night. It's already 37 degrees. That's first, then somebody hissed. Yeah, it's very cold, two degrees Celsius. Do, 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 do. I'm a bit tired today. I spent a good chunk of the day um, building a new fence and repairing a fence. I felt older than I should. <laughs> Thankfully, coffee to the rescue. Plus, I had to get up early because work had an issue. And it called me. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Lizzie. Beep, beep. I've been playing with SketchUp, model, doing 3D models. Um, I want to, I'm playing around with photorealistic renderings of architecture and creating a, basically my dining room, living room, kitchen area before and after the remodel and try to, you know, like before and after. And I want to have try my best to get a, a rendering that looks like, take a Picture of my camera, take a rendering at the same location, and I want them to look the same. Sunlight and everything. Today, I've been working on creating 3D subway, uh, three inch subway tiles, and then turn them into three, six by three for the kitchen splash. Backsplash. Curved edges, edges and mortar and stuff like that. Cluster of cats in the kitchen. Who hissed? Cluster of 
I mean, who hissed? Oh, B. That's the first time I've seen her hiss. She's been, B's been going outside the door and not, not a peep. Hungry because she actually saw her. Yeah, she saw her. Lover tonight, huh? Because I didn't even get my cuddle like we did last time. Like the sleepy time. Oh, she was. She was. Kind she of, was grooming. Oh, or walking all over me. Hey, everybody. Where is Mark? I'm going to go find Georgia. Hey, who grooming? I was talking about the. Uh, yeah, how are you feeling? 3D models. Oh. The, the oh. living room renders before right. and after every model. Mm -hmm. Cool. How is your uh, legs? I'm feeling fine now. Now leave to the rescue. <clears throat> we just did a little letter for her pet's parent, her for her parents. Tell what her. we learned about her and stuff like that. And it was only a page. It wasn't eight pages. <laughs> like for the boys. <laughs> Richie and Mrs. C are still not perfect pals being treated. Yeah. They, um... Oh, Lizzie's asking um, why. The reason for the rendering, it's uh, pretty much a lot of home architectural work I've seen looks fake. <clears throat> it just has a fake look to it. doesn't matter how well they do it. It's, um, it looks fake. I, I want to do better. Plus, it's like a side project of, um, it's like somebody, somebody wants to see what their house looks like if they knock out a wall. Kind of like exactly what we did. And the ceiling and another wall. It's something I've been wanting to do for like many, many, many years. But now actually putting forth solid effort towards it. Yeah, BB, we were, we were super glad too. We were actually pretty worried for a little bit. But, um, but we feel pretty confident that we didn't get, we didn't pass it to them. We did have trillions poop. Check, not for that particular bug because it's so expensive to run the test. And it's, um, and talking to them, it was low risk because we would walk out and wash our hands. And they didn't feel like if it was on our clothes, it would be able to be transmitted. So, but Chilean's came back fine. It's just Chilean has a history of soft stool, not diarrhea, just softer stool. With blood mucus. Yeah, yeah. Shoot, bloody mucus. Uh, they said, the vet said it was just some flamed intestinal tract. Yeah. Okay. We gave her some porta flora and then we, you know, she gets a packet in the morning and we haven't seen any for a while. It's like every morning we would get up and it'd be like a little red drop on the mm -hmm. pee pads that so we, stopped. We yeah. School. Yeah. So we were pretty worried. We were like, oh no, but, um, you know, she was having that before. Yeah. She started like, I started noticing in the spring and, um, it would come and go. Yeah. And then. All of her tests poops came back negative. So anyway, the vet, the shelter also felt like it was not possible, and then our vet didn't. So we feel pretty good about it. But yeah, it's horrible what these two cats are having to go through. It really sucks. So I'm gonna try to give. So we don't know if the shelter will take any toys or anything with us. So I'm gonna bring these with us tomorrow, and then I'll bring this with us. And. Again, I don't know if they'll take it, but we'll try. And the strawberry can cat ball that's still in its package. Yep, and it's in a bag, so we're hoping since it's in a package, it's um, sanitized. Or not sanitized, we'll take it. We'll see. I think we're going to try to get up earlier than last Sunday and not make it a panic. I should definitely have tea before we go and eat. Recommended. <laughs> Recommended for your health. <laughs> oh, my 
eyes are starting from all that reading and the way I had the lights downstairs really weren't good. You're trying to get me back from any other time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's like, get me here from my face. No. Oh. I had some doubt on it. Mm -hmm. last Sunday when we were running around with the chickens head cut off or heads cut off the chickens whatever um, we I put John hadn't had coffee so I put it in that um, the mug that you gave us Lizzie um, last year that small thermos the blue one oh he loves I I use it all the time um, but it was like coffee yeah actually I think because you know he doesn't travel as much so he doesn't really need thermos and then I put it in there and he's like I love I was going to just slam the coffee before we walk out the door, and she's like, here. <laughs> and then he's like, this is amazing. I didn't even have time to make tea last weekend. I was just, I had literally rolled out of bed and had like 20 minutes to get her and, the, and then myself in the car. I don't want to do that tomorrow. Yeah, they're pretty cool. They're a perfect size, too. So thank you for the amazing gift. We use it for sure. That's one more pet if they got another cat. Just like her. <laughs> more like her, please. <laughs> <laughs> Um, they did send out emails this week looking, I mean, they always send out, but I wonder who was on there. Actually, that one that you got me, Lizzie, is perfect for one mug. It's like yeah, my, it is. Yeah, it's like my cure. It, I use my cure. I got to use a pot. So, it was just right. So I went out back today to look at our lettuce and no, it's kale and cabbage. Oh, they're covered in green little wormies. Caterpillars. Yeah. Of white butterflies, moth things. And yeah. Evidently they really like kale. Yeah, because I didn't see them so much on the cabbage, but I saw them all over the kale. That's fine with me. Yeah, and <laughs> then, um, and this was a practice year, but we, I wonder if we should return the ones that we got today. But anyway, we had gotten covers. We'll need, them, for the we'll need them for the strawberries. Probably. Yeah. So those are just kind of doing their, whatever they want to do right now. And then the strawberries, one is a full grown strawberry, but it's it's white. It's a pretty big strawberry. <laughs> we did you tell show them the big picture of uh, the moss? Yeah, did you tell them about that? Um, oh. Forward to you, mods. We had the um, oh my god, you're such a cute little bird. Okay, so this week they had Apollo, who was an adolescent six male, altered, maybe shy and standoffish at first, but will be slow. Will need a slow intro into his foster home. Once comfortable, he loves to be pet but is not a big fan of being held. He only needs a foster for one week. That sounds like her. Yeah. And then Finch is an adolescent male. Well, this was confusing. Finch, adolescent, adolescent male, under one, altered. Initially shy, but sweet once he warms up. He is likely a one-week foster. And then there's Cherry, 
an adult male under two altered, very friendly. He will need a foster for one week or less. And then Sar Sar Sarvi, adult female, under two, altered, very shy, will need foster for a week. And then there's Hawkeye. Um, if we can find foster placement, Hawkeye could transfer to Homeward Pet as early as the next week. He will be a higher care foster as he is currently on insulin twice a day, daily to help manage his diabetes. He is eight years old and was surrendered um, to, the to his previous shelter when his owner passed. Away. He is friendly with people but will need to be an only cat in the home. We have no history with dogs. He does be best in large spaces. He would likely not do well in a foster home where he would need to be confined to a small room bathroom full time. So that's the five that they had as of the 23rd looking for fosters. And they send out something on every Monday, basically. But yeah, they won't take the, it sounded like they wouldn't take the diabetic cat unless they had somewhere to put them, which makes sense. And the lawn got aerated too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't, you know, it's always so tough, Lizzie, when cause it's not their fault that their parents pass, pass, and it's so confusing, you know. They don't understand why they're being moved around, mm -hmm. stuffed in cages and carriers. Like last week when we did that to her. Sunday, yes. she was it, just like... She was mad at us all day. <laughs> Got halfway there, and then we noticed an email saying... That reminds us, we have to make sure we return our email yeah. in the morning. Before we leave. Yeah, that's another reason why I should not be getting up 20 minutes before we just walk out the door. Is that her? Did she fart or? No, that was me just stretching out my leg. No, I smelled something. Not me. She farted a lot near me earlier today. Oh, yeah. I wonder if this food was too rich for her. I wonder if it's rich. No, her poke would have been rich. But we are giving her a high end and different kinds of food. Mm -hmm. Is it? Oh, that's. I'm sorry to hear that, Lizzie. Hopefully, he finds a good home. It was funny yesterday morning when she ate all her food and she was hungry. And was she heard us out, out the door and she's like, meow, 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 meow. Get you time. She's in the cat ball right now. Here she comes. Oh, just so everyone knows, Target has um, their Christmas uh, cat scratcher houses on the web on the websites, and they have like four to choose from. Oh, the loves. Oh, the friend loves. Oh, the loves. We get the kitty loves. She's like, okay, I I like that. I'm gonna miss her paws. Her paws remind me a lot of my first cat. She's a tick tabby broken mackerel. Bye. Peace. <coughs> it's kind of like a lighter version of B. Mm-hmm. Yeah, B's pretty. <laughs> Kitty. Kitty. Hopefully that can go home with B. Oh, she just farted again. If it's 100% better than yours, then yours is like 0% or 1%. AKA, it sucks.
That's the bad thing about down under. That pretty much everything has to be shipped in by a boat. I I saw a full picture today of ghosties of the um of the pirate ship. That thing is awesome because I couldn't really tell like from the picture that I saw. It's pretty spectacular to see it. You probably should have got one. Our, mm. our cats are very deprived for not having the pirate ship. Well, Janine had that pirate iPad. Yeah, so her. I mean, she had to get it. It's perfect for her. I think Libby had a Christmas chalet that ended up lasting, I don't know, two or three years. It had to go either right before the move or on the move, I don't remember. Uh, you bought us one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah I mean, so it's probably three like years. It. Yeah, three years ago or so. But we have the Halloween one downstairs, the one that Shirley is always on. Libby likes that, too. And then she has her own, ho another Halloween one down there. So they have two Halloween ones down there. What do mean? Okay. I'm ready too. My eyes have been bothering me. Oh, what does he do to do to the um cardboard? Does he eat it? Well, it's good to hang out with you guys again this week. Thank you. Oh, it has a Target one. A, ta a Target, a taco one. Yeah, I want to know what he does too to the cardboard and then we'll go. <laughs> he must eat it. Two spits off and spits them out. <laughs> but at least he doesn't eat it. Sarks would do that too. Okay, big kisses. Um, it's like, okay, guys. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. We love you. And you're like, oh, I love you too. And we apologize again. <laughs> but you're going to be okay when you get to your new home. Okay, kitty. Wait your turn. <laughs> Now she's like, I don't want any kisses from her. Or hug. I've been hugged out. We love you. We're so good. It was totally by accident that we got her, too. The, the other foster home backed out, and it was our lucky day. Mm-hmm. It was our lucky day. Kiss was like, should we get her? I think I'd probably say no. And I was like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect you to say no. <laughs> he had said no to like five other ones, so I was like, okay. Really though, it does. Our cats are a little dramatic about all of this, so. It was like they get used to the room and then they can't go in the room and then yeah. they get used to the room. But it's not just that. It's it's just, they all don't like when we're in here for this long. They're, we get out and sometimes there's a lot of tension. So we just, before we came up, we had a good 30 minute play session with them before we came up. Um, Ruthie doesn't like it when I'm in here and she can't get to me. It's just. Well, B's been really good this time. Um, Ruthie likes sometimes, earlier today, Ruthie was sitting outside the door when Trillian came by and Trillian saw, tr saw her and just started sw swatting at her. And Ruthie is such the drama queen with Trillian. Mm -hmm. Trillian and Nakia. B but B, <laughs> she goes batshit on her. Yeah, she goes. So Trillian, no, Nakia and Ruthie are the drama queens. The two redheads. Yeah, the and two sirens. Yeah, and so going, Nakia, if Ruthie just even looks at her, starts screaming. And it could be like six feet high across the room, she starts screaming. And then, um, and then... Trillian is, yeah, the minute she, Trillian starts looking or going after Ruthie Yeah, is. if Ruthie goes after somebody else, Trillian comes down and just goes after her. 
And if she's not able to go after her, she will save it. <laughs> Trilly is becoming quite the diva and the queen. The alpha. She's making herself alpha. But it's interesting. We have eight cats. Every cat but one has a cat they don't like or in the cat they really like. Penny, everybody likes Penny. Penny likes everybody else. She's a special girl. Dorian does go after Penny, but he goes, he goes and she gets all money. <laughs> She's a good cat. Yeah, Libby likes to chase Nikia oh, and B. That's right. Penny, you. But Dorian goes after Penny. Normally, Penny doesn't do anything, but when Dorian does something, she's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's peeing. Oh, that means a poop's coming. Um, well, Penny, I think, knows that he's playing. Like, she'll roll on her back and go like this to him, and then she'll get yeah. mad, and she'll. Meow, and then she'll. She's run like, up. yes, not proper play protocol. That's a long pee. And she's done. Guys. She can have a low sided. I haven't swept in here and since you last swept. Huh. She's so neat. Like, she, she scoops like this. She's, this. She doesn't, no force behind it, but it gets the job done. She is like, she is the neatest cat. There's hardly any litter over there. No. It, it's just litter that stuck to her paws when yeah. she came out. But I have not swept in here since you did the other day. That was, that was Sunday. That's a piece of cardboard. Was it Sunday? I don't know. I have no idea. I can't. It was like three or four days ago. I have no idea. Today is Saturday, so it wasn't a whole week. Hmm. But, um, compared to Mrs. Singh, oh my god, that cat was the worst litter box. For cat. Whoosh, whoosh, and then, whoosh. um, I feel bad for her that she has to be, like, you know, in that cage because she just makes. She loves a lot of room to go to the bathroom. Like I have to sweeping twice a day wasn't enough for that cat. Even the boys were cleaner mm -hmm. than I should. You have, to clean the, you have to clean the walls too. <laughs> well, that wasn't her fault, yeah. but the litter definitely was her fault. <laughs> I have two layers and I have holes on my pants. I think we've gone well, through this you before. Have the okay. Yep, she has to be dropped off to the shelter by 9.30 tomorrow. So, I don't know, we don't know what time we're appointment is or anything. You smell something under there. Can you smell it to kitties? Chris already said his goodbyes, and we're this is supposed to be for Richie and Mama, so we'll hold on to these and wash them again. Sorry, Katie K. We you just got here. We're just leaving. Sorry, but that's the way the chat goes sometimes. <laughs> Enjoy the cuteness. And then watch the old guy trying to get out. Hope everyone has a good night. Please, love, Steph. Good night, everyone. Enjoy the kids. Have a nice day.